Hi YouTubers, this is another video by Handy Dandy Husband. As you know, here on uh, our channel, we're all about reusing, recycling things. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to clean the debris or dust buildup from things with uh, really uh, deep grooves or irregular grooves. And you might find this sort of deep, irregular grooving on um, something like this serving tray, which has all natural bark. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the dust, but it's quite grimy in between. And in other situations, you might have a very delicate piece of silicone, like this is my uh, keyboard cover. And it gets covered with uh, dust and uh, it's really hard to clean in between the, the grooves of the keyboard. And of course, everyone has nylon cases. I'm not sure if you can see the difference between this area here, which is dusty, and this area here, which is a little cleaner. And of course, this is my headphone case, and again, there might, you might be, have difficulty seeing this, but there's a significant amount of buildup on the, on the edges. Now, what I normally do for my regular keyboard on my desktop computer is I just use uh, one of two brushes and just gently brush in with a little bit of water perhaps, or just with a dry brush and get remove the dust that way. But with these items, the uh, crevices are a little bit too, um, narrow and irregular and I didn't want to harm the finish by too aggressively using the brush and that's where my wife comes in I asked her if she had any old uh, makeup brushes and this is just a regular I guess a, a blush brush I'm not sure what it is but anyways I've washed it out and it's extremely gentle so what I would do is uh, let's move this aside is use this brush to gently, and as you can tell, it's getting into the areas very well. And if you can tell the difference between this area and the area that is uncleaned, it's significantly cleaner. And now this is just with a dry brush alone. If you were to use a little bit of water, use a little bit of water, let it dry out, and that would clean those crevices out very well for you. In the case of this uh, nylon uh, container, again, it's dusty on one side, just a light brushing. Gets rid of the dust. This is the clean side. This is now the dusted side. And the headphone case. I'll just do half of it to see if you guys can see the difference. Okay, this is the dusty side, this is the clean side. And I hope you guys can see the difference between the dusted area and the non dusted area. And if I just do the rest. And it cleans it right off. Now this, this is very uh, this this uh, this makeup brush is extremely gentle, as I was saying, and it's really good for um, gentle silicone uh, covers as well. I mean, you won't be able to see the dust here because it is uh, clear, but it's extremely effective for these uh, areas which require a more of a gentler t touch than the uh, paint brushes could actually provide. And uh, you get to reuse something that would 
be thrown out. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Uh, if it has, stay tuned for more video coverage um, on the Handy Dandy Husband YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, ask them below in the comments. And if you like the video, like it. And uh, if you have any other ideas or thoughts or you'd like me to uh, try something different, please uh, leave those requests below in the comments as well. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.